felt sick today, so my mom and dad didn't go out. They canceled the babysitter this morning. Maybe your mom and dad got called away while you were asleep? No, they're still here. I heard dad snoring in his bedroom. Okay, so where did you see her? Wait, so her babysitter is just in her house at 3 a.m. in the morning? Oh my gosh. Hi everyone, my name is Gabriella, and welcome to a scary text message story. I'm so glad you're here. Let's jump right back in and see what is happening. I woke up feeling thirsty and went downstairs for a glass of water. I saw her standing in the corner by the TV. Are you sure you weren't dreaming? You've got to believe me, Tasneem. She was looking right at me. It was definitely her. Christina has been babysitting me for years. I'm trying to believe you. It's just so weird. Did she say anything? Nothing. I just put a finger to her lips. Creepy. So where is she now? Is she stealing from my parents? I'm not sure. I was so scared, I ran into the kitchen. Right now, I'm texting you from under the kitchen table. Have you messaged your mom and dad? I can't. What if they come downstairs and Christina gets them? Why would Christina get them? There's something wrong with her, Taz. Last week, she was acting really strange. She kept looking at me from across the room and asking me strange questions. When I woke up during the night, she was standing beside my bed. I asked her what was wrong, and she said she heard me screaming in my sleep. Maybe she did. You didn't see her face. It was all all scrunched up. Her expression was so intense, it freaked me out. Maybe she had something on her mind. My older sister gets weird sometimes. She's been strange the week before too. What is going on with this babysitter? I don't like it. She was so secretive and I heard her speaking with someone downstairs. So what? She was probably talking on her phone. No, Taz, this was different. It was like somebody was in the room with her. I went down to tell her my dad would be mad if she had people over. Was it her boyfriend? There was nobody there. Christina was sitting alone on the sofa! So she loves Zaz? What is going on? But something was on the living room table. Come on, what was it? Uh, I think it's called a Ouija board. <laughs> When she saw me, she got really angry. She asked me if I'd seen the man. What man? Great, she's haunted. I have no idea. That's so creepy. I think you need to call your mom and dad. Right now. I guess I do. But first, I'm going to be sick. Why? Well, don't keep me in suspense. Why was Christina at your house? Oh, wait, is this later? I don't know yet. Mom and dad searched every room. They can't find her anywhere. <laughs> like she's disappeared or she's hiding. You must have imagined her. Probably half asleep when you went downstairs for your glass of water. I wasn't sleeping, Taz! The curtain was open and the street light was shining on her face. It was definitely Christina! Why would your babysitter be sneaking around your house at 3 a.m.? I don't know, okay? Oh my goodness. If you are enjoying this as much as I am, make sure to subscribe because I post awesome videos every single day and I wouldn't want you to miss one. And if you want to see your very own name as one of the story characters, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram and let me know down below in the comments that you're a subscriber and then your name might end up in the story. I'm sorry, but I think your imagination is playing tricks. You said yourself that you were sick. I guess my temperature is pretty high and I think I'm gonna throw up again. My mom said I look terrible. She's going to ring the doctor in the morning if I don't feel better. That sounds like a good idea. Now try to get some sleep. Oh, wait, what am I? with the ghost! Stop! Just one thing before I go. What? What you said about the Ouija board freaked me out. Christina shouldn't have done things like that in your home. No, she should not have. Who knows what she'll invite into the house or what she already invited. I guess it scared me more than I thought, but you're right. I probably did imagine her standing in the living room. I feel silly now and a bit dizzy too. Don't worry, you'll sleep it off. My dad was so angry with me. It's not your fault. It was 3 a.m. and you've got a fever. What did he expect? Anyway, get some rest. You'll feel better in the morning. She's not gonna feel better in the morning! I'm already back in bed, but I can't sleep. Listen to some music on your headphones. They're not working. All I can hear is static, like an out-of-tune radio station. I think I'll just close my eyes and lie here in the dark. See you tomorrow, Taz. Good night, Khadija. Oh, I'm so scared! <laughs> Wait, don't go! Are you okay? Are you feeling sick again? It's the handle on my bedroom door. Ah! It's moving! It'll be your mom checking you're not on your phone. Why doesn't she just come in? Because she doesn't want to wake you if you're sleeping. OMG, what's wrong? The door is opening. Ah! Who is it? Who do you think it is, Ted? I don't know yet. What the heck? It's Christina! <laughs> Khadija, answer your phone! My dad is furious. Where have you been? I've been so 
worried. My parents were telling me off for waking them up again. What did Christina want? I don't know. I screamed and she ran out of the room. Mom and dad came in a few seconds later. They must believe you now. Not quite. My dad phoned Christina. She said she was home in bed. What? I'm sorry. He called her. What did she think she was going to say? Oh, yes. Hello, sir. I was actually in your daughter's room at 3 a.m. in the morning. Did he speak to Christina's parents? No, but he said she sounded tired, like he'd just woken her up. He's lying, Khadija. She's probably hiding behind your couch. Don't say that. Did you show the parents the photo you took on your phone? They said it must have been an old pic. That's a fair point. Why would they not believe me? Like, I'm literally like screaming in the middle of the night. Is it? How can you say that to me? <gasps> Taz, as my best friend, it is your best friendly duty to be on my side when these things arise. Why would Christina be in your house in the middle of the night? I'm not sure I want to know. And if something bad happens to me, it's gonna be on all of them for not believing. But I convinced my parents to search the house again. And any sign of the phantom babysitter? Nothing. And all the doors are locked. Where are you? Back in my room. But something's wrong. What is it now? I can hear a voice. Christina's? I wish it was. It sounds like a man whispering into a microphone. Is the radio on? Maybe the TV in the kitchen? It's closer than that. It's coming from somewhere in my room. But there's nobody here. <laughs> Call for your dad. Tess, I'm on my own. My parents do not believe me. Are you serious? He thinks I'm making this all up. He'll ground me for a year if I wake him up again. Maybe you should hide in the closet. I can see a red butterfly. What? Did I read that right? It looks so bright, even in the dark. What are you talking about, Khadija? It's so pretty, Taz. It landed on my phone. Now it's on my hand. The man's voice is singing now. It's such a beautiful song. Everything's gonna be okay. All I've gotta do is invite the butterfly into my heart. <laughs> I think you're dreaming. How could you be dreaming and texting? You're sleep texting. I've never been more awake, Taz. There's a red butterfly on my hand and a man's voice in my head. He wants me to stay away from Christina and he agrees with you. He wants me to hide in the closet. I'm getting in. No, Khadija, this doesn't sound right. I can hear my bedroom door opening again. Please tell me it's your dad. I'll take a peek. It looks like Christina. <laughs> She must be standing in the doorway. Stay where you are. I can hear the floorboards creaking in my room, Taz. Don't move a muscle. What do you think she wants? Is she still there? Scream for your dad. She's standing in front of the closet. I can hear her breathing. The handle is turning. <laughs> what do I do? Keep calm. Maybe she'll go away. I can't even keep calm. <laughs> Khadija! Is Christina there? Tell you anything if you still have your phone. H. What does that mean? Help. Ah, I'm going to call your dad. I woke him up so much tonight he'll be wearing earplugs now. Then stop texting and run. Where is she? Christina did something. What do you mean? She said some strange words, then splashed water in my face, and now I've lost my voice. I can't scream, Taz. Then throw something in your room and wake your parents up. I'm not in my room anymore. Where is she? She dragged me down the stairs. I can't think straight. What happened to the man and the butterfly? Let me help you. What's Christina doing now? Unlocking the front door. She had her own key all along. Try and grab hold of something in the hallway. It's too late. She's pulling me. Saying weird stuff. Try to break free and run. Can't. No strength. The liquid stuff did it. The stuff that she threw in your face. Dragging me to car. Oh, What's going on tonight? I'm being kidnapped. Oh, it's all me. Continued. Oh my gosh. You got Make sure you subscribe because I am going to be posting part two of this video tomorrow. I'm going to record it right freaking now. Oh my goodness, my heart is literally pounding. I cannot wait to find out what is going to happen. So make sure you subscribe so you can know as soon as I post the video tomorrow. And like I said, if you comment down below that you are a subscriber, you could find your name in the story just like Tasmin and Khadija, who are two lovely subscribers of mine. All right, you guys, until next time, make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can hang out in between upload and check out the awesome videos I have for you on screen. I'll see you guys later for this scary text message story. Bye!